the power of now was so important to me because there was one part in the beginning of the book, and I believe he it was when uh, Eckhart was uh, sitting on a park bench, and he realized, he said, I don't like myself. And he kept saying over and over again until he made that epiphany, that realization that one of those eyes or myself could change. So if it's I don't like myself, then the myself part could actually change so that I do like myself. And so that really hit home for me. I realized that the ego that I was presenting, that which I was sharing and I wanted everyone else to see me as, which wasn't actually me, and it wasn't actually even who I wanted to be. It was who I thought I wanted everyone else wanted me to be. <laughs> Hopefully that <laughs> who tracks. I <laughs> who I thought. They yeah. thought. Who I thought. thought. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. Goes back to. And the spiral <laughs> continues. But yes. that's what happens, yes. right? Like in dodgeball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we watched that on our break. Um, but uh, yeah, there's. it's amazing how much that freed me up. Because I was like, wow, you know, I'm spending all this time and all this energy attempting to be someone that I am not be under the guise that I think that that's what everyone else who wants me to be. And the reality is, is a lot of my relationships were crumbling or they were faulty or they were uh, faulty is not the right. Um, they were false. It was yeah. just, it but just wasn't built on a faulty was, foundation. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And so when I realized that the I, which is, it's just the foundation, that strength, the real, you know, the true heart in me and then myself is maybe my thoughts and my perception that, well, I can change my thoughts, my perception to align with the I, the foundational, the, uh, you know, unbreakable I. And when those two align and I can finally say, I, I not, I not only just, I, it's not like I just like myself. I love myself. When I got to that point, that's when the transparency and the openness went to a whole other level. I agree. I fortunately had had the opportunity to navigate to that space prior to meeting you. But I had a similar journey of needing to break down all of that which I had created as my story right? That's what I looked at it as. This is my story that I have created for myself, but it was all based on fiction versus fact. And so I needed to begin to look at, all right, what are the true facts of my day to day, where I'm at now, not what happened in the past, because the past, when you talk about the power of now, right? The past influenced where I'm at now. And it has brought me to this point, but I'm not experiencing it now. And so if I continue to build my entire story around that past experience, then I'm just going to keep reliving that. And the lies or the experiences I had are just going to keep following me into the present moment. I chose to instead rewrite my story from the now moment in every now moment, looking at facts of who I am in this now moment, where I desire to be in my next now moment, and use that as my, I guess, if you will, my building criteria for the choices I was making in those now moments. So it made me feel so empowered to not have to lie to myself because anything that happened in my past is done, gone, bye. Yes, I still feel it, but I don't give it dominion over me. The next step was to tear all that story down and build it every now moment by every now moment so that I could share from where I am right now. And if you ask me about something that happened in the past, I can share from that I perspective versus that myself perspective mm -hmm. that you're talking about. I don't have to be ashamed of anything I did in the past because the I that I am now is not that past I. 
So if I'm talking to you and you ask me about a choice I made 10 years ago, it's a choice I made 10 years ago. Who I am now would not make that same choice. Mm -hmm. So why am I embarrassed about that? Mm -hmm. I have grown so much between that stage. I've grown so much just this year alone, let alone all of that journey. So by being able to look at it in every present moment and craft my inner dialogue based on that, then I didn't feel a need to be dishonest with myself or anyone else any longer. 